Hi boys and girls, Miss Rose here. You're gonna be working on your self-portrait, not any self-portrait, but a Lego self-portrait. I wanna learn more about you, and I thought that this would be a fun way for you to draw yourself and your interests, but instead, you're drawing yourself as a Lego. If you haven't already, please click on the orange star. It's gonna tell you any materials you will need. Also, if you click on the black star, there's going to be pictures and resources and things for you to look at to help you. So I just want to show you. I worked with the younger students at PS120 and they made a basic Lego person. Uh, you should either write the Lego logo here or your name or what you'd like to be called on your shirt. But you're a little older, so you should have more details. Yours should look a little more 3D. You should definitely have an interesting face and hair on yours. This is what I did with the second, third graders. So it's a little more exciting. It's a little more 3D looking. There's hair, there's details. I made mine all about art because I'm an art teacher. So there's a paintbrush, paint splatter, paint cans. Again, there's lots of pictures for you to look at if you click on the black star. Before we begin, I want you to do some practice so you can practice drawing different faces. Again, if you click on the black star, you'll see examples. But I also want your Lego person to have more interesting hair. So what I did here, I traced a square. I cut a piece of paper. You can trace any object in your house. If you don't have a square, just draw a square with a ruler. We're doing the best we can. So I'm going to draw six different hairstyles and you can practice with me. And also, if you haven't already, please practice drawing some different faces. It's going to make your final Lego self-portrait even better. So when I drew my squares, I didn't draw the corners because even though Legos have square heads, the corners are rounded. So if you see, if you watch, I'm going to stop here. And then I'm going to curve like that. And just like magic, it looks more like the curve of a Lego head. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these. If you want to, you can pause your screen at any time and you can work on yours. The project is going to be the blue spilled paint can. But before going right to the project, you should always watch my Bitmoji video or click on the laptop on the floor and see if there's any exercises like this or instructions I want you to do before you go right to the main project because a lot of times we have to practice before we do the real thing. Okay, I have one more left here. So you're drawing yourself not realistically but more like a Lego or more like a cartoon. So you want your hair to be more simplified. You can also have, have fun with it and be creative. So I'm gonna draw some necks here so there's not just floating heads. And again, you could do the same. If I'm going too fast, you can always pause and continue. All right, here we go. First, maybe I'll draw men's hair. I want you to think about the kind of hair you have. Is it long? Is it short? Is it fluffy? Is it curly? And maybe it comes down here like that. And then maybe this shows a little bit here. So that's like a side part. And I'll make a line or two to show some hair. And maybe a line or two over there. Ta-da! Now I'm gonna make long hair with a side part. I usually wear my hair in a side part. And, and I usually have it behind my ear. And I'll show some lines to show the direction of the hair. So a little curl in there. And then some line details. Okay, next, maybe I'll have a little fun with this. Maybe I'll make a mohawk. That's some wild hair. And maybe it will go like that. And I'll close 
There we go, a mohawk. Next, maybe I'll have some short hair. There we go. And there you go. Um, maybe you want to be wearing a baseball hat. I don't know. If you like to wear baseball hats, maybe I'll make my baseball hat going sideways. There we go. And you could do a logo on your hat. Maybe I'll do Lego as my hat logo. You can also Google the, Le the Lego logo. I always Google images to help me. And maybe this one, I'll have more like, you know, some bangs. And then maybe a hair tie or a bow. And showing some hair and there you have it and then practice some faces too if you haven't already you can have eyes close together eyes far apart angry eyes you can have yours look more scary if that's what you want to do yours can be more sweet you can put eyebrows you want this to be all about you so I can become more familiar with you and what you look like or what you would look like if you were a Lego. Maybe this one is a wink and a little nose. Do Legos have noses? I don't know. There. Maybe I'll make this one a pig Lego. <laughs> See, I'm just making this up as I go along. This will be a basic Lego face with a smile. Again, have fun with it. This one will have a half smile, maybe looking down. Okay, so I want you to do some practice first, and then when you're ready, please click on the blue spilled paint bucket, and you will get to draw along with me and create your Lego self-portrait. <laughs> 